Hello, so this is our DMX system for our house. Um, so it consists of a DMX master. Um, basically this just uh, converts our Wi-Fi or allows you to use your Wi-Fi signal um, to uh, control the system. Um, you can control it from your Android app. And so this guy basically just sends the mass, like sends the DMX signals over. Um, well, we were using RJ45 in this case, and uh, we're basically I just hacked together this cable using the uh, three cable or three conductors out of there, and then uh, into the RJ45 port, and then out to the next DMX uh, decoder. So this is basically just two zones. So Sort of in this little mock setup here, I have like two rooms, of <clears throat> and we of course have our 12 volt power supply, which is supplying power for the LED strips for both. Um, so basically, I have sort of an uncoiled 15 feet uh, RGBW um, LED strip, and then a coiled up one. So I'll just show you here from the app, and uh, the nice thing is that you can use the same Wi-Fi network as your home network. So this is a master on button. So you can see both both of those come on. So I'm just gonna now control zone one, and uh, maybe I'll just turn off the white from zone one. And now I can just change. See, I can just change any color I want, or it's got a sort of scroll function, and it will scroll through all the colors. I can uh, speed it up, or I can slow it down, slow it right down, or if I just want one color, um, you can also control the, the colors individually, um, just by pushing and holding on the buttons here, or if I want to just turn off the zone completely, I can just push and hold on the button on that zone, and then it will just turn right off. There you go. Or if I want to go now change the zone to my second zone. So second zone. And now I can do the same thing. I can control the colors there. I can tell it to scroll through or do whatever. I'm just going to turn it off for now. So what I did is I grabbed, um, this is a five pin connector. Uh, it's the same that they use for our Arduino controllers or Arduino controllers. And uh, I just uh, soldered a DB9 connector on the end, so this is basically, I'll just have uh, this in the wall, and have, I'll have a name plate, or sorry, a, a face plate that's got two of these things, and uh, the reason I want to have two, so if I'll just show you here, I'll just turn on this first zone again, um, so the reason is that uh, you can actually dual feed uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to just turn off that second one here so you can actually see what the difference is. So you can actually dual feed uh, voltage from either end. And when you do that, the brightness increases significantly. So I'm actually just going to uh, turn on the whites too. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, it really helps if I'm on the right zone. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that's maximum brightness right now, but if I were to connect the other guy, the other, the other side here, it gets significantly brighter. As you can see, well, just you're gonna have to trust me, it gets significantly brighter, because by the time it actually the voltage gets to this end, it's down to about nine volts. So it starts off at 12, and then 15 feet later, it uh, comes down to only about 9. So if you send another 12 volts down, actually this black, the black wire, then uh, you get significantly brighter LEDs. Um, and then just a few other things. I'm just going to turn it off for a sec. So the app works pretty good. Um, yeah, so you can set up, go into the setup. No, I guess I won't let you go and set up if it's off. So, 
you can, uh, so I got using my, well, you can't really see it. I got it using my network. Um, and so when you first power, when you first power this thing on, it uh, broadcasts its own network. And uh, then you can go into <clears throat> the website and uh, it's got a little web server. And uh, with a little bit of figuring out, you can actually tell it to use your own network, but it takes a, a while. Um, other little things that you, you should probably know is that, um, so you can have with, with the app here, you can have, um, oh, sorry, with the app, you can have up to eight DMX zones and each one of these DMX decoders requires four DMX addresses. So that's why you see this one's got, um, this says one and this says five. So, and the reason for that is that, uh, you know, this guy, sorry, this, this guy uses addresses one, two, three, and four for the different colors. Um, so the next zone address would start at five and the next zone after this would start at uh, nine and so on. Um, other nice things to know about this is that, um, the DMX addresses do stay at, if, uh, if you, they lose power, they are, uh, they do remember them, so that's useful. So my plan is that I'm going to uh, put a light switch in to kill power to the DMX um, to the DMX decoder, so you'll have a conventional light switch in addition to the app itself. Anyway, that's uh, for a little demo here.